What's going on everybody? This is Tom and I'm also called Lemon Drop 14E on occasion. But anywho, it's me. And I'm back here with Motorsports Manager NASCAR Mod. So hey, just to get a little housekeeping out of the way. This is your first episode here. Hey, thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a good time here. Hope you want to leave a like and uh, subscribe. That'd be super cool if you did. If not, whatever. Also, if you look up here in this corner, you might see my frames per second. And also down here, I noticed the little recording dot and then the microphone dot. I'm not sure how to get those things off of there. I have them turned on so I can confirm when I'm recording. I've had issues before where I wasn't recording when I thought I was and vice versa. There's been times where these haven't shown up in the video and there's times when the frames per second also hasn't shown up. And if they're not there now in this recording for some reason, I look like a crazy person. So if I look crazy, that's fine. I don't mind. If you guys want to see my frames per second, I don't mind letting you in on that Ooh, dirty little detail up there. Anyway, so here we are back again. Last race was not very um, great. But that's fine. Uh, as far as the car goes, we're still super duper underperformance or underperforming. Um, you know, there's the the median car on the um, field, and we're there. Um, every, uh, most other things that we can control at the moment, we're way up. Oh uh, yeah, drivers, we got the best in the business, best staff in the business, and a uh, third best pitch crew in the game. Not the uh, case for other things. I'm kind of waiting to start building stuff. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba, right down here. No. Man, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going here. Uh, player. Yeah. Oh, the car. The car. There we go. Yeah, the new part stuff. Like, see, let's say I click this right here. Like, this is 2.1 million. You know what I mean? Knowledge available is great. So, okay, you know what? Here. Let's click it. Let's just say, yeah, I'm doing this. I want to add um, that one. I want to add that one. Down here, I can't get this one because uh, I have to get the test track at level one, which I think. Um, let me back out of this before I spend too much money. The test track is happening. No, I have the ability to make a test track. Is that what it is? Yeah, but it's eight million dollars, and I have nine point four. So I feel like I just want to wait out till the end of the year, see if we get any money. Uh, but yeah. Until then, let's hop on over to the old Mother Russia for the Black Sea GP. I have started this race um, with a recording and the game crashed, so that was super dupes cool. I'm going to quit saying super dupes. Uh, but anyway, it looks like we're going to have rain and practice and during the race. So I'm going to hop on in here and I will catch you guys after uh, qualifying and practice. I will see you then. Alright, so here are the results after a rather hectic uh, practice session. We had literally used uh, mediums, intermediates, and wets all in the same practice session. Uh, it was wild, and Carl, his car was being a pain to set up, so hopefully um, I don't have to do any adjustments. I didn't get a chance to check it after his last stint, so hopefully I don't have to do any setups right before qualifying, but if I do... I guess it is what it is. We'll just uh, see how that goes. Now we'll pop back in when we are done with qualifying. All right, so as you can see, we had some rain during qualifying and uh, that started off with wet track or with a wet track. And I saw after a few minutes, it was gonna be drying up. So I didn't send the guys out right at first. I let, uh, I don't know, maybe a minute or two pass, which was actually kind of a lot. Um, people were able to do a couple of runs on intermediates. But I waited and waited for the perfect time to send the boys out on soft. Now, someone, a few other people did this too, like Jeffrey Earnhardt, JJ Ailey. They did good. So Sam's actually got fifth place. And then uh, you can see Carl Edwards got the pole by three. Okay, so that's tenths, hundredths, thousandths, by three thousandths of a second. So, yeah. We my gosh, David Reagan probably would have beat us, but when he was on softs for part of his run, there was actually quite a bit of water on the track still. Um, like, uh, I would say as he started his flying lap, um, it started raining really hard, so I assume that affected his speed being on softs where Carl had already completed his lap, so I don't know. I'm going to take that because that's awesome. So we actually do have the pull. We, have, we both are starting in the top five. So that's awesome. We don't normally get that. 
Uh, whether or not we hold on to them for the race, don't know. But uh, let's jump on over to the starting grid. Alrighty, so here is the starting grid. We have Carl in the pole, obviously. And um, if I can scroll, there we go. Where am I at? Sammy Hornish here in fifth place. Awesome. We just went over that, but still, it's nice to see. So now let's get this uh, swiveled around where I want to see it. And right now, I have the boys setting at 33 laps of fuel. Just filled them all the way up since we're on intermediates. Um, have them set to push and uh, high on the tires and fuel. If you look here, water on the track. Once we get past almost lap 40, you can see just barely. It really kind of spikes back up. So I'm going to assume that means we're going to be getting some substantial rain, which is um, verified by our forecast here. Uh, so really, I think what I'm going to try and do, depending on how much rain we get uh, right around lap 40, since we can only hold about 30, yeah, 33 laps worth of fuel, we can maybe stretch that to, I don't think we'll get 40 laps out of it, but we'll have 41 laps to go after lap 40. I really want to try to come in and just fuel and go. So, um, I mean, I want to do that around lap. Gosh, man. If it's lap 30, I don't know. We'll just have to see where it lands. Basically, I want to use the same set of tires twice where everyone else typically would be getting new tires. So we're going to try and use that to our advantage. Hopefully I explain that somewhat decently. If not, just sit back, relax. I will show you guys. But for now, we just got the green flag. I'm going to hang out with you guys here for, I don't know, first few laps, give or take. I'm going to watch some tire attempts, make sure. I don't think we'll be having any issues with them uh, burning up the tires here. We are all on intermediates, and the track's pretty wet. It's, it's stamp. There we go. Uh, Carl and Sam are actually hanging on pretty pretty tight there. I don't mind them kind of getting shuffled back a little bit here in the beginning. Yeah, everyone's pushing really hard. Uh, we're not pushing as hard as some. Fine by me. Everyone's really laying it on their tires, which I understand. Because, uh, you know, intermediates, a lot of rain, keeping them tires cooled off. But we are actually sitting pretty good right now. So I'll let you guys hang out for the next lap, give or take. Before I had to switch over to professional mode and really start paying attention like I'm not doing to these tires right now. So, okay, right now I am going to head on out of here and I will catch you guys uh, around the first uh, set of pit stops. So, I will check you guys then. Alrighty, so here's where we are. Almost 15 complete laps into the race. Uh, we're looking at the radar here. The I'm sorry, yeah, the radar. After lap 40, the rain's going to clear off pretty quick and then we're going to get full sun apparently. And uh, that's not good for my original plan. So around lap 40, I need to be coming in for, I'm going to say slicks, maybe lap 45, but we can't make it that far on our current fuel strategy. Lap 45 is going to be halfway through our next fuel run. So I'm thinking about having the guys come in in the next lap or so. In fact, I hope, hope, hope I don't blow this. I'm going to set Sam. He's going to be my guinea pig here. We're going to do some wild strategy with Sam here. We're going to put him back out. Um, on the same set of intermediates that don't want to waste any time fill it up so does it tell me what lap he'll be running out on no I don't think so but anyway everything looks just fine here no need to risk it right now well if I want to risk it for two seconds no okay so I'm gonna let Sam do his pit stop here I'm just gonna chill with Carl to see what I'm thinking is We'll be able to just pass lap, I don't know. I don't know, man, because we got to get to lap 80. So we really need to get to, like, lap 50. And it's going to be close if uh, Sam can get to lap 50 or not. We're going to, boy, we're going to try it, though. Um, don't be afraid to go a little neutral there, bud. As far as Carl goes, oh, boy, oh, boy, I just don't know. Everyone's kind of all over the place here with their stuff. Carl, I'm just going to let him ride right now because he's doing good. He's got three tenths over Jeffrey. Or no, I'm sorry, David Reagan. Um, yeah, I know, dude. Just pull him off. So what I'm thinking right now, oh boy, oh boy. I'm going to have him go a couple more laps and then I'm going to bring him in. That way he can for sure get to lap 50. Is that the right move? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to have him pit right now. Don't even care. Same thing. Leaving him on those tires. Fill it up, my dude. And then uh, everything looks okay. Mm, boy oh boy no not gonna risk it not risking it right now hopefully I don't just shoot myself right in the foot with this strategy because that's that's something I would do you know so let's make sure Carl's doing good here whenever I feel like I'm about to get one up on the computer it's like man I'm missing something I know I am even though I may not be I don't know but we're gonna be on intermediates like I said hopefully gonna be able to stretch it to lap 50 which I we should be able to do 
And right about lap 50, we're going to come back out with some slicks on. Maybe a little bit before that. I don't know. But anyway, that's the strategy right now. So I will catch you guys uh, whenever we see my strategy implode. Alrighty. Here we are. We are getting ready for the last pit stops here, maybe. Well, I don't think it'll be the last pit stop. But very close. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it'll be the last pit stop. We've got Samuel here with five and a half laps left of fuel. So it really can call that six laps. And uh, that'll get us to lap 51. So hopefully we're able to outpit everyone. As you can see, we are back in the first and fifth. We gained a whole lot of uh, time with that uh, um, little pity maneuver there. So, or at least we gained all of it, at least all of it back that we lost. Um, as we can see here, the water is not going to build back up. Sorry if we have already, if I've already went over this. I, um, I had to pause and then I ended up eating supper, hanging out with the kids for a little bit. It, it's been a while since I just uh, paused at last. So. What was I trying to do here? Was I trying to uh, make it one more pit stop? I believe that was the plan. So, I'm going to blow through here. Wait for Samuel to be about out of fuel. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the plan. It's going to be really close. And we are super worn out on tires, too. So, <clears throat> we're going to be ha we're gonna be on worn tires for sure. Sam's got, um, yeah. Okay, so it's time to pit then. Actually, I'm going to hit ignore. Pause. Okay. Let's see. Where is Sam? He's there. Where is Carl? Right there. I'm going to pit Carl. Yeah. How many laps can we get? 43 laps. 33 remain. We're going on mediums. Fill this piece up. Everything looks okay for me. No need to push it right now. But Carl's going to come in, and I'm also going to pit Sam at the same lap. Um, hopefully they don't stack on each other, but if they do, the time lost is just lost, I guess. So, let's have him blow it out here. Same with Sam. I am aware of the worn tires. Sorry, I just realized my mic isn't quite in the same spot. So if it's all janked. Sorry about that. A lot of people are staying out. Okay, uh, Ware and Tift both came in. Oh no, we're gonna be stacked up so hard. No, this is not good. Ah, so much time, so much time. Darn it. Oh well, had to do it. Um, unfortunately. Ooh, let's set this back to where they need to be. Darn it. That's really not what I wanted at all. But it is what it is. Let's do one of them numbers. So it says we have excess fuel. So I'll run on high for just a little bit. And we're going to push the tires. I'm going to readjust my mic one more time. <clears throat> so hopefully we're going to be able to make some fat time on these guys ahead of us. Which doesn't look like it. So this may be kind of a wash if everyone does the same thing. But alright well I'm going to pop back in with about oh three or four laps to go so I will catch you guys then alrighty so here we are we're just about three laps to go give or take a little bit what we've got going on is Carl Edwards is up to second place um, getting gapped a little bit by Landon Castle but he's conserving a, <clears throat> excuse me a little more than we are it says that we have excess fuel not that much I don't want to push it be, I don't want to run out or anything silly uh, same with Sam, um, he, although he does probably have a little bit more uh, cushion on the fuel than Carl does. But he's running pretty strong here in ninth place. Um, so we're going to see if we can just ride out the rest of this race. Score two top ten finishes, that would be just great. Cody Ware, yeah, he's pitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Hornish just gained a bunch of time uh, because um, Cody Ware had to pit. So uh, the first one who had to do that was Crafton. He went in for some softs, and then, man, he came back out on new soft tires and was running them hard. So, it looks like we're going to be good, though. Lap 80 just started. So, yeah, we're not crazy um, excessive on fuel. 
Land and Castle is conserving. We are not. Uh, well, now he's not. But, anyway. So, let's see. There's the last lap. So, we'll run it on high. Where's he at? Yeah, we'll run him on high also. I think we'll be good to go. That'll be a race right here, gentlemen. We're going to push. See, if, now we're not going to be able to gain on Garrett Smithley, so there's no need to even do that, really. Carl, yeah. Yeah, he's over, over with. All right, cool. So, yeah. Good finish for Carl. Sam's going to bring it home ninth. Awesome. Not a bad finish at all for the team. Landon Castle was tough, though. Good for him. Always a fan of Landon. Real life, obviously. In this game, I could care less. But anywho. Also just realized my mic was not... I don't know. Whenever I like have to get up and down out of my seat, whenever I'm like mid-recording, I always feel like the microphone's just... Never gonna be where it was anyway. So, yeah, let's take a peek, peek and peeks uh, at these pit stops here. Yeah, so we came in for mediums uh, two laps before Landon did. And let's just take another peek here. Yeah, we stayed out on intermediates, so. Yep, we all had two stops. A couple had three. Matt Crafton had three, but he was screaming fast. He just had to make that third stop there at the end. Yeah, same with uh, Cody Ware and Matt Tift. Anyway, awesome. Ooh, kids are screaming like lunatics, but that's uh, part of being a parent. Anyway, I say we shouldn't have any issues here. We don't. Carl Edwards, oh, he got that bonus point because he uh, got the pole position. So he actually, awesome for us, uh, gained the most points of anybody this weekend. Awesome. Okay, so how many uh, spots was he demoted? I don't know. But Carl, yeah, he dropped one spot. Which, I don't mind. Sam, he dropped three, but still, second and eighth, that's awesome. I'll take that all the time. Now, Front Row Motorsports, I know they're doing well, but um, he gained 16th. So, he started 17th. That's crazy. I'm getting far away from the mic again. So, cool. Good for Castle. Casey Mears. Pretty standard. All right. So, yeah, Carl. Carl and Sam both gained some spots. That's awesome. Super dupes cool. Just edged out Cody Ware. Uh, Sam did, rather. Be cool if we can get uh, one of the drivers into a top 10 position. Mm hmm. Still holding strong at 8. Sight set for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Don't know if we're going to be able to get that done, though. There we go. Okay. Morale is topped out for these fellows. Mm hmm. He, I don't know why he's not gaining over here. Don't know what that's about. Hey, back focus. Da, da, da. His fitness will be going back up. What does it mean when they're in blue? I don't know what that stuff means. Anyway. Um, new unlock. Intermediate tires wear more slowly. For Kara Ulova Ruslanovich. Wow. Rolls right off the tongue. Awesome. Also, over here, awesome? Also, I can't talk. Um, yeah, expected 10th, came in second. Not gonna beat that. I mean, I guess you could, you can come in first, but whatever. <clears throat> we did actually lose money because of the bonuses we have built in for our uh, driver contracts. So, it, it's odd if they get like, I don't know if it's top 10. If they're both outside the top 10s, we'd make more money than if they were on the inside, inside the top 10. Which um, I'm not really too worried about. But. I'm gonna save the game for us here. And we're gonna call it quits. Uh, I used to show some of the uh, more maintenance stuff. I'm not convinced anyone likes to watch that. I don't really like to watch it when I'm editing, even. So. I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here, right now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, subscribe, like button, whatever. Uh, check out some of the other videos in this playlist also. And uh, yeah, ooh, looks like we're going to have race or rain for the race in Vancouver. But anyway, I will catch you guys out or check you guys out next time. Goodbye.